Today I'm catching a bus from Hammersmith to Wellington because I've arranged to do a farm stay through a program called Willing Workers on Organic Farms. Basically, I'll be doing about four hours of work a day in exchange for food and accommodation. This is my first time in the English countryside and I'm immediately impressed by just how beautiful it is here when you escape the cities. So I'm here at the farm stay <clears throat> in the accommodation. It's a caravan that's not sealed up and it's full of spiders. Like in every corner, there is big black spiders. Um, there's lots of uh, daddy long leg spiders, um, which is fine. But then there's like what looks like a white tail spider, some big black spider. And they're, they're everywhere. This place is an absolute dump. And I can't believe that this is what they're offering me to sleep in. Um, the whole place is teeming with spiders, webs. Um, it's, a, it's an absolute disgrace. So I don't know what to do. It's uh, nine, it's 10 to 10. I'm far out in the countryside. I'm about eight miles from the nearest town. It was late. I don't have any other accommodation. Do I stay here tonight in the spider den? I probably have to, realistically. But I'm leaving in the morning because this is not... This is f***ing nuts. Who does this? Look, there's another one. At one point, I decided to get into bed, but then I saw this guy, and I quickly realised there was no sleeping in this bed. So I'm going to have spiders crawling on me tonight, but um, it's not even just that. Like, of course, that that's probably the worst part of it. Just just the fact that there's such a f***ing dumb, and they've decided that that's where I get to stay. It's dirty in here. It's Everything's filthy. So I'll be leaving in the morning and trying to find another farm stay. But what a what a huge waste of time. It took me all day yesterday uh, today, sorry, to 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 get here. And uh, I was looking forward to this, but it's not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. All right, it's 5 a.m. I am walking to Wellington. I just, as soon as it was light, I, um, I got up, grabbed my gear, and started heading off from the farm stay because the caravan was just full of spiders, dusty, nasty, smelly, and there's no way I was gonna even sleep there one night let alone like for multiple weeks it was freezing cold too and then <clears throat> all I have was this weird like uh, dusty doona thing to keep warm but then I didn't really want to go on the bed because I'd seen spiders in the bed so 
It's just basically up most of the night, watching videos, walking around with a doona wrapped around me to stay warm. And um, yeah, the place just sucked. It's just awful. So I'm glad to be on the road. And I'm glad that I packed so light with my little backpack because it allows me to be mobile like this um, and to walk through you know roads that are half full of mud if I had a big roller bag this type of adventure just wouldn't be possible so uh, just glad to be on the road again I haven't slept but it's okay to skip one night's sleep every now and again Alright, so I've made it to a town called Taunton. They have a Tesco, massive Tesco. So I've got food. They have a few hotels. There's one here for 125 a night. You know, a bit rich for me, but I'll stay for two nights. It's a nice little town. It's just not much here. But um, it'll at least make a nice place to catch up on all the sleep I've lost. And then I can work out the next move. Where do I go after this? I don't know. Well, I've made it to the promised land. I'm in Tesco. And there is gluten-free food everywhere. It's actually really good. And it's cheap. Decided to catch a bus or a train to Stonehenge in the morning. So I've always wanted to see Stonehenge. I don't really know what I want to do in um, in the UK, but at least I know what I'm going to do tomorrow. So that's all you really need. Bristol Temple Meads, Filton Abbey Woods, Hatchway, Seven Tunnel Junction, Newport, and finally Cardiff Central. If you are travelling with a bike from this service today, bike spaces are available at the rear of the train in zone 8. And once again, the next... Morning, I'm at a train station. I'm going to catch a train to Salisbury, which will get me quite close to Stonehenge. And then from there, make my way. Don't know where I'm staying yet. Maybe Salisbury, maybe a town near Stonehenge. And that's what I'm doing today.
After a difficult couple of days, I was on my way to see Stonehenge, and I felt like the adventure was back on track. Ever since I was a little boy, I've always wanted to go and see Stonehenge, and today, I was finally going to make that dream a reality. Alright, so I'm just walking to Stonehenge. It's a nice day, so I'm glad I did the walk. And um, shouldn't be too much further on. I was in awe. Stonehenge was built 9,000 years ago. How did they get those stones up there back then? They don't even know why it was built or what it was used for. But being in the presence of something built by your ancestors 9,000 years ago feels important. It's a connection to the past. Hello. What are you working on? We are insulating a shed. Oh, fantastic. We've also got, yeah, as you see, the marquee we want to put up, um, which is because we're having a party next weekend. And it's a really lovely field if you want to go for walks. You can just knit through and then walk up the hill and it's beautiful. It's like waist high with wildflowers, the whole, the whole thing. And when you get to the top, the view's like 360 view all around. Amazing. Thank you. 